day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I think that's what happened with uh, Jerry Falwell. You know, when the, the people that were standing up there saying, great man, and, you know, endorsing politically. Then what we found out, Chris, this week. A whole lot of shaking going on. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just can't get out there and be a representation of God and not be exposed. Come on, right. Those not things that are freedom. done in darkness shall come to light. Especially when you are out of God's will, you just can't be out there doing that. That's no different than than uh, what's her Ooh. name? Uh, what's her that sister White? Uh, Paula White. Paula White. Paula White. Yeah. You know, uh, now she's up here supporting him. You know, and but I I really don't see her like I really didn't see Jerry Fal Falwell. I don't watch all that stuff. I don't really pay attention to that side of of, of government because they're just they are so far out there. Right. The corruption that they do, I just can't even as soon as I try and listen to them, I get turned off because they start off with lies. Right. You know, and then not only the do they do lies, they try to uh rewrite history. Right. So that it aligns with what they want to say. Right. So I can't I can't get involved in that. And then when I start listening to the to the Democratic Party, you know, they're they're just trying to appease people of color and really not making any any strong stands for us either. So I don't want to listen to them no more either. And the more I sit back and I'm listening to all this government stuff, the less I want to be involved with it because it takes my mind off of Christ and what God intended for us to do in this world when you start getting involved with this political world and what's going on in this world system. We have no part in it. We have no place in it. It's not godly at all. No matter how much you want to try and put God in it, you can't put God in this world system. You either be hot or you be cold. You can't be lukewarm. Lukewarm. You can't put old yeah. wine and new wines in. You, you just can't mix law and grace. You can't mix government and God. Right. Yeah, mix flesh and spirit. <laughs> but yeah, it just think, doesn't but, but work. Back to saying that the people were trying to say, Chris, what I was trying to say is that I was listening to a Christian station, conservative one, somebody asked me to listen to it. And they were using, they were trying to degrade that movement. I understand that. And, and, and what I'm sitting there saying is that if they read it, you'll see that it's not as, you know what they were trying to make it to be. They try, they try to demonize it. The well, movement- The fact that they got to say conservative before Christian. Yeah. It, yeah. You, you know, you, there's no need to even look at it. Yeah. I mean, look, cavalry before conservative, cavalry before Black Lives Matter, cavalry before. The reality of it is that at cavalry, Black Lives Matter to Christ, that's why he gave his life to save him. Yeah. So like everything that we're doing now is a rehash or a remake or a watered down version of what Jesus actually talked about. Right. Right. And that's, why, and, that's, and that's what I'm saying, Elvis, why, why I was so excited. But as about reading this, this, this scripture today, is yeah. when I said my name, we're talking but, about his authority. Yeah. But still, are, are, are we to say in Jesus' name? That that was my whole point. Yeah, because the, the question is, the scripture said, Jesus said, ask in my name, you should cast out devils. But really what I wanted to throw at you on that one was no. But what, what I am saying though is under his authority, yeah, that's and, and, that, and that's my, my point because when I, I did my research, the only time I saw anybody, because Jesus didn't say in the name of Jehovah, he did it. And the only time I saw anything that says in the name of God, which translated Jehovah, was 
the uh, the demonic man that was at the tomb when he saw Jesus in what was that Mark five seven? He said, "I adjure you by God that thou torment me not." And then in the NIV it says, <laughs> "I beg you in the name of God never to torment me." So that was you know him invoking God, but you know that was a demon. He was trying praying. to use, you know, say in God, in the name of God, leave me alone. Go, you know, leave me alone. But, but I do want, I do want to make sure that I think the, the balance I'm trying to say is that you operate, you do anything you do is in the scriptures that is under His authority. Is that what yeah, it means? I, under His authority. I understand that, Pastor. But my whole point is, and this is why why, why it, it just really caught my eye is Jesus said, you know, uh, that I come in the name of the Father. Everything I do, you know, the, the signs are in my Father's name. But he never said, you know, uh, be healed in the name of Jehovah. Yeah, Stretch but forth thy hand in the name of Jehovah. And then I looked up, Peter. Peter never said in the name of Jesus. When when he, any anything, they just rise up and walk. No different than Jesus. Right. Uh, but, but, hey, brother, but, I, I want you to know you just gave me a whole complete new revelation and angle to look at a lot of things because I'm sitting there thinking about a dollar bill right now. Yeah, I'm I'm and I'm a this a image. This just hit me. If this guy, you know, in God we trust on it, and like you said, the only person that has to identify and know that something is good and needs to be done or is good and got to evoke in the name of God, that money might just be evil, bro. That's true. It is. The, well, the, 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 the love of it is yeah, the root of all evil. Their, their yes. God is money. Their God is money. So, so like I'm saying, so to... to kind of almost how can I say certify but that's the wrong word acknowledge that they're doing something and they hope they can get a pass by putting it through they got to put God name on it somewhere so they go in God we trust yeah but we don't know which God they talking about hey, bingo now that's the part I really wanted to get to yeah. that's the part I really wanted to get to but 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 the, the bottom line is, you know, there, there's plenty of scriptures that that Jesus says, you know, in my name, you know, uh, do these things in my name. You know, if you you receive these children in my name, if you give anyone drink of water. water, you know, in my name. And so but they're not, you know, my thing is, are they just speaking with the authority? Authority. Yes, that's what he's trying to say. And they're not saying, you know, in Jesus' name, no. take this water. You no. know, if they give him the water and they say, why'd you give me the water? Then you say, by the authority of Christ that's in me. Yes, it. Therefore, I go. Therefore, I do. According to God, I do my Father's will through Christ. And right. that's when you, you let them know the authority. No different than Jesus let them know the authority that he did all the miracles in, the authority that he came in, the authority that he walked in, and, and, and the power, where the power came from. So when he was questioned, he pointed to God. But he, he thought, walked yeah. in that authority all the time. But that's what he means. That, that's why I wanted to make you understand. That's what he means is that you're operating under his authority. Because that's why I use the Old Testament too when it said, yeah. if my people shall call for my name, he's not yeah. talking about saying Jehovah. He's not talking about saying Yahweh. He's not yeah. saying Elohim. He's saying under my authority. Dude, Remember, dude, that's, dude. What, that's what you need to understand. It's under the authority. People need to understand right. that you operate under his authority. There, there's, there's plenty uh, of times uh, where, where, you know, there's it, it, it mentions that false prophets are going to come in his name. So I guarantee you they're going to say in the name of Jesus, you know, such and such and such. But they're false prophets. Yeah, and, and even God even went against people. What is that? In, in, in Jeremiah, he kept saying, 
Right. You know, you got people in my name. Right, under my authority. Prophes right. Prophesying in my name, and I didn't say that. That's what I'm saying, authority. That's, yeah. that's the key word understanding is you're doing it under his authority. And use a, I use a scripture here, the example of people who try to operate outside of his authority. Is I'm going to show this here. Read this for us, if you don't mind. Um, I'm going to share it. This is an example. You know, I did read in Deuteronomy where it was talked about when he said, if somebody says something that I did not say or operate on somebody else's authority, he's going mm -hmm. to get involved with, right? So here's a good example. Acts 19, verse 11. Okay. Go ahead and read that for us. All right. And God wrought special miracles by the hand of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons. So he didn't say Jesus, Jesus' name, did they? He didn't say no. Jesus' name. They were showing no. him where you can operate, long as you who you operate under. Go ahead. Keep yeah. And the disease departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. This certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, Jews, exorcists took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus saying we adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preached and see now and there were, that's, now we get ready before you go any further they're yeah. using the literal name not understanding the power or the authority that need to go with it right yeah that's what that's your only example there go keep going I'm sorry well they weren't they were trying to use the power and authority that is there. They just didn't have permission to access it. <laughs> look, look, to me, I'm they weren't that, they weren't tied to that power. To me, they're, 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 literally, they're, uh, they're literally using the just literally using the name, not understanding the authority that comes with the name. Yes, that's and what I'm trying to say. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. and I think it's that we have to bring them in in the, in the view right now is the mission. Um, well, if you, you, if you, you have if to submit you are, to that authority, right? And if you aren't submitted to that authority, then you don't, you can't, you don't have, you don't have the what can I say? The authority to operate in that, in that, in that, in that name of that person. Exactly. No. That's like, why he's trying to tell you. So look what happens when you do that. That's what he's it, trying to do. Yes. Yeah, so submission had to be there. So what does the, the lifestyle of a person submitted to Christ look like? That was something that I was, I was going to ask that question because we say we walk in the authority of it. But what what kind of a lifestyle acquired that that, that authority for? It? What I, think, I think the answer to that is the eye is out of the way and he is all the way. Hmm. The eye, eye is out. I, I want, I want to do my idea. My hey, look, I don't mean a how, but this just just a thought. See, Bassism is Bassism authority. The Godism is Christ authority. That's all I'm just trying to make sure you understand. And, and see, Chris is very clear when he said, Bas I mean, Bassism is saying is, I ain't talking about it. It's not my authority I'm talking. It's, it's not God authority. It's me. This is personally my th idea or my way of thinking. But when he's talking about in the name of Jesus, if he's saying in the name of the authority of him that sent me, that's another authority. Keep on reading that, Brother Addison, because I want to show okay. the example here. 914. Nine, Something just came to mind when you said that too, Pastor. Bible 914. And there were seven sons of one Skeet, a Jew, uh -huh. and chief of the priests, uh -huh. which did so. And the <laughs> and the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know. Well, who are you? Yes, sir. In other words, he said, I know the authority of, of the of Paul. I know the authority of Jesus. Because Jesus said the Father sent me. So I know that authority. And I know Paul was sent by Jesus. I know that authority. I don't know. I don't know your authority. I don't I don't recognize your authority. I don't see where your authority is coming from. And because of that, what happened? It goes out and beat him. It didn't take beat him okay. out of the house. It says in verse 16 no, okay, and the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them this is seven folks <laughs> <laughs> a, a evil spirit 
<laughs> so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. Wow. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling in Ephesus. And fear fell on them all. Uh -huh. And the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. Yes, and many that believed came and confessed yes, and showed their deeds. Yes, sir. Many of them also, which used curious arts, brought their books together uh -huh. and burned them before all men. <laughs> and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Amen. And I